so hey guys um yeah sorry i haven't been streaming lately i've i've been depressed lately i so i don't i don't know how to explain it but like you guys know i moved so that was the whole thing but i mean yeah i have my new little <laughs> my new little hidey hole <laughs> it's also the um storage room at my mom's place but i mean hey i have my playstation i have my tv and access to internet so <laughs> i cannot complain <laughs> Also, I have discovered that I am addicted to pineapple, and there is all the pineapple I can eat here, so I'm, I'm pretty solid. <laughs> I'm starting to feel a lot better, so I'm gonna start streaming hopefully more. I, I don't know how this whole depression thing is gonna go, but yeah, I'm gonna try and start doing this more again, because... I don't know, it's like therapy. I'm brain vomiting all my feelings out, so I guess that's healthy. <laughs> Anyways, I gotta do my hair, so yeah. But I mean, look at these curls, though. I mean, perfection does not. No, I'm joking. It happens overnight. <laughs> Everybody is all like, perfection doesn't happen overnight. No, no, these curls happen overnight. I literally washed my hair, rinsed it, put it in a bun, and voila. <laughs> it's a lot easier to achieve than you think, my guys. But yeah, so... I'm kind of back. Also, guess what, guys? I am very excited about this. I have been able to start doing... Okay, I'm up to doing 33 squats a day, which I'm very excited. So I'm going to start streaming that, at least. I can do hip thrust now and squats. So, workouts soon to start up again. Because I guess this flare-up is ending, which I, I, I feel like... The flare-up and the depression are, like, you know, correlating somehow. Like, it's my physical well-being is affecting my mental well-being. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know science, so I'm no doctor. <laughs> I just listen to my doctors and do what I'm told. <laughs> but, yeah, so I guess it's coming to an end. But anyways, what is this? <laughs> Heat protectant spray. <laughs> this one also smells really good. It smells like peaches. No, apricots. My bad. It's because it looks like a peach on the bottle. <laughs> oh, okay. Unlocking it might be helpful. So I'm also discovering that I really, really like the sound of fire. <laughs> like, I mean, we already knew I like the... <clears throat> Excuse me. We already knew I like the flicker of fire, but I guess I like the sound as well. <laughs> because 
so my roommate used to, well, my ex-roommate had this, uh, like, white noise thing when they would sleep, and it was always, it would always be rain sounds. Well, I moved out, and now <laughs> I sleep with sounds on, but I don't know if you can see it in the background. Maybe it'll focus. Nope, I don't know how to make things focus. But it's literally the picture of, like, a castle, and it's got rain hitting the windows, but it's, like, you can barely kind of hear the rain. You can mostly hear, like, there's a fireplace right there on the screen. <laughs> That's what you hear. It actually, I don't know, maybe one of these days I'll make it focus, figure out how to do that. But it's actually a pretty dope castle scene. I don't know if you can even see it. You see that bed? Looks like a nice bed. This is why people with curly hair don't brush when it's dry. <laughs> yes, I know, there is a mess. Ignore it. <laughs> I currently live in my parents' storage room, okay? So, it's not even that I live here. I'm literally, it's kind of more like a way station, I guess, because I'm going to start traveling. It's going to be like... Adventures of wheelchair chair travels, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm gonna start documenting my travels in a wheelchair around the States. It'll be fun. I think the first place I'm going, though, is Chicago. It's close to home. <laughs> so, eh. Okay, hold on. My hands are so dry. I need lotion. <laughs> Give me 30 seconds. It's not even lotion. It's this is not an ad. <laughs> CeraVe moisturizing cream. <laughs> but anyways, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, travels. I'm going to document traveling around the U.S. in a wheelchair. It's gonna be super fun. We're gonna see how that goes. <laughs> and I'm talking like travels, like planes, trains, buses. I don't care. I am not even packing up. Like, I'm, I've am i also realized that when I pack now, ever since like becoming disabled, hey empires, welcome to the stream. But I've noticed ever since becoming disabled, I have, like, when I pack now, I barely take anything with me. <laughs> like, all I take is, like, my medications, change of clothes, and hair stuff. <laughs> like, the stuff I use to straighten my hair and wash my hair. Not even, because I can buy shampoo and conditioner wherever I'm going. So, <laughs> change of clothes and my medications. And that's about And my walker. But, or my wheelchair. No, nah, I'm gonna take my wheelchair. I don't think I'm gonna take my walker. I don't think my body would be able to withstand traveling around walking. So, wheelchair it is. All I take are food. <laughs> yeah. But see, I guess my other thing is like if I'm gonna go to travel all these places, I gotta try the food, the native food. And I'm talking like 
I want to try an authentic Chicago hot dog. Like, I've had Portillo's before. Everybody knows what Portillo's is. If you don't know what Portillo's is, then I'm sorry. <laughs> you should really hop on that. <laughs> but, I mean, I've had Portillo's. I've had Portillo's in Chicago. I'm talking, like, I want to go to Chicago and go to, like, one of those uh, carts <laughs> and get one, like, a street taco or a street hot dog. <laughs> I mean, you know, everybody likes their authentic dogs. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I have a dirty mind. Oh yeah, it's a hair straightening hairbrush, if anyone was curious, sorry. I did not say that word right. Curious. <laughs> Don't rewind and figure out how I said the word, it's okay. It's a, I don't know, it's a my rope here. I got it off Amazon for like 30 bucks. No, I don't have a discount code, that's not an ad. I'm just telling you what I'm using. <laughs> I guess the only thing I'm curious about when I'm traveling is like, can I take my PlayStation? <laughs> they let you take your PlayStation on like planes and trains and buses and stuff, right? That's a, that's a thing. I mean, I won't be playing it, but like, I would like to have it in my backpack so when I get to wherever I'm going, I can, <laughs> I can plug it in. <clears throat> You know? Also, I'm starting to hear about how a lot of hotels around the United States are implementing more accessible uh, stuff like just accessible rooms, bathrooms, lobby areas. So, we're also going to be testing that theory. <laughs> also, Airplanes apparently are having more accessible areas when they like uh, for people in wheelchairs for boarding and then bathrooms and stuff like that. So again, we're going to be testing that theory. <laughs> <coughs> I know it's crazy I'm not drinking coffee for once I'm not addicted to coffee you are cuz I mean yeah that's how that works
also the past few weeks I've been writing a lot more I so I think it's kind of a book it's coming together a little bit um it's basically just a, like short stories that rhyme like but it's like it's like one short story and then that's a book and then another short story and that's a book like dr seuss but like we're adults so yeah because i mean okay my whole thought process behind it is like nobody has time to read long books big books anymore like everybody likes to read books am i wrong i'm not wrong but nobody has time to read big books anymore be between work kids school like whatever else you got going on in your life you know so short story is that rhyme but it's basically like the gist of the news and everything that's going on <laughs> in the world but it's like i don't know something cool you can read to your kids or you can like read on the bus on the sc on the way to school <laughs> It's something you can slap grandpa with that family reunion. <laughs> but yeah, I thought that would be cool. I don't know. People like I've been I've been kind of doing a little bit of it on um Instagram if anybody wants to go check that out. Yeah, I'm sorry for that if you do check it out. <laughs> My apologies. But um yeah. It's kind of cool. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's something I like doing. I like writing short stories that rhyme, but not for kids. So, stay tuned. We'll see how that goes. Oh yeah, my Instagram is the same as my Twitch, baby t 3 rex <laughs> You know, someone was asking me why there's a three in it, and I was like, because it's one of my favorite numbers. <laughs> I mean, it's my fr my number one favorite number, but my other favorite number is the number one. But if that makes sense. <laughs> I have dis I've decided my favorite numbers are the numbers one and three. Which technically I guess my favorite number is the number thirteen, but separately. Like put a comma in between the two. <laughs> and no, I don't know why. I just like the number three. Like it looks cool. And then the number one I mean I'm number one. Okay. <laughs> Oh, hey, Loki Bomb. Welcome back to the stream. Sorry, I didn't even notice that you said something. My bad, dude.
I'm already bored with this. <laughs> well, that lasted a whole... How long has it been? Like, 20 minutes? 30 minutes? My attention span, also, this past flare-up, has just gone to zero. <laughs> like, I don't know if that's something that's gonna be developing more as the NMO progresses in my body, but <laughs> I have, like, zero attention span now, so that's cool. Like, it's very weird. There are things that, there are things that I did like three months ago that I just don't remember doing at all. But then there's things I remember that I did like three years ago. And like, I can remember it down to the exact detail. <laughs> but then also there's like things that I could do no problem yesterday. And then today, like, I just... My body physically cannot, will not do it. <laughs> now I'm sitting here like, bro, we we went over this. We practiced this. <laughs> you, you know what you're doing. Why are you not doing it? <laughs> yeah, I don't. It's fun. It's kind of, it's kind of another reason why I would very much like to just uh, go travel around instead of being here. Because... I'm probably not gonna remember this in three weeks, so <laughs> three weeks, three years, three months, <clears throat> I don't know, I'm probably gonna forget this, so that's why I would like to do as much as possible, <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> One side done. Oh, there we go. I figured out how to block the light in the back. <laughs> you see this pro lighting? <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing the roots right now. I'm probably going to straighten this side and then, I don't know, go play a video game or something because I'm bored with this. <laughs> I'm also going to be doing the squats challenge later today, hopefully. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to try and do 33 squats in a row without stopping. <laughs> I did it yesterday. I did it the day before. My body knows how to do this. I have practiced this. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> Yes, pro curls, super cute, heat protectant spray. About to destroy these curls with heat. Gonna burn it with fire. I mean, I'm not gonna burn it with fire. No, disregard that last statement. <laughs> I'm going to gently smooth out the curls with a heating technique used since... 2017 <laughs> I think that's when this thing was created 
the uh, face training hairbrush. It's super dope. If you don't have one, you should really at least try it once in your life. I'm not gonna lie. This thing has quite literally saved my life. <laughs> I mean, not really. I mean, in the hair shading department, it has. <laughs> Heat protectant spray. So the floor is, oh, you can see the floor. It's a wooden floor, and I don't really have anything to play sit on right now. So I'm sitting on the wooden floor and my poor ankles. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else experiences this. When you sit down on something hard and, like, your ankles are touching it, it, like, I guess after a minute your ankles start hurting, or is that just me? Am I bony? <laughs> Anyways, moving on. My ankles hurt, needed to fix that. Okay, we've got about three minutes before they start hurting again, so let's get this done. My butt hurts. My torso's already getting wobbly. This is why I'm overdoing this right now. It's because my body is physically done, so I guess my brain is mentally done. Dudes, dudettresses, this is why people with curly hair don't brush well, let's dry. See that? Like four passes through and it's straight. Hair straining hairbrush. <laughs>
I need to like take a breather. <laughs> no, I don't know what else to talk about. Hair straightening hair brush, it works. Especially if you get like hand spasms and you handshake and stuff a lot. Or like your fingers just don't work. <laughs> like mine. Like, I don't know how to explain how my fingers don't work. Um, I used to be able to play ukulele. Now I can't. <laughs> Does that... <laughs> Is that a helpful description? <laughs> This is like tiring, like physically draining. <laughs> That's not because of the hairbrush though. The hairbrush is dope. It's just because it's me. It's not them, it's me. Oh my goodness, why is this so tiring? I literally just woke up from a, from a nine hour nap. <laughs> like I took a nap yesterday at, I don't know, noon for a couple hours. I tried to at least. And then I woke up and then I passed out at like seven. And then I woke up I had like an hour before I started streaming. And now I'm sleepy again. <laughs> My life, dudes, dude, I just say I really don't do much besides work out, sleep, play video games. Eat tacos, drink whiskey. <laughs> I still have yet to do a stream where I'm getting drunk. I should do that one of these days. <laughs> Not at my mom's place though, because that's where I currently stay or reside. So it might not be for a while, now that I think about it. But I mean, hey, one of these days, you will actually see what happens when I have a half a shot of whiskey. <laughs> that is how much of a lightweight I am now. It's fun. Cheapest date ever. <laughs> sorry I'm taking a breather like I said this is physically draining already 
and I've been sitting here for what, how many minutes have I been, like, half an hour? This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's cool. I'm gonna finish this. I only have two-thirds of one side to do. We'll get it done, eventually. And by we, I mean, like, one of the six personalities going on up here. I mean... You never know which one you'll get. <laughs> it's like a box of chocolates. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I don't think I have multiple personalities. I think I just... What did I... What did... I talked to a professional online and they diagnosed me as an introvert with possible ADHD tendency. Or no, 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 no. They... It was an extroverted introvert with possible ADHD tendencies. And I'm like, whatever that means. <laughs> and then immediately I was all like, oh, did I tell you I started knitting? But also, I had to stop knitting because I ruined it and I had to take it apart and start over. And then I got bored and frustrated and stopped. So I'm gaming this new game now. <laughs> And I just went into telling them about all these things I'm doing all at once. And they were like, uh-huh, yeah. I'm taking notes the whole time and I'm like, stop that. Stop that. You don't need to write things down. <laughs> like, I get I am a therapist. What nightmare, but <laughs> you don't need to document this. That's okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Next piece. It's hard, to, let me explain what's going on. So physically it's hard to do because when I'm like doing my hair, I don't, I don't have anything to lean against right now because usually I do this when I'm sitting in my locker or a chair and so I'm having to like hold my torso up on its own, which is kind of not working right now. I'm sure you can tell how much I'm slouching, but that's why it's so physically draining because I'm using all of my energy to hold my torso up and to try and do my hair and balance and keep my like ankles on my socks to keep me balanced because if they go off my socks then they're touching the wood floor and it hurts <laughs> it's a whole process that's going on right now and it's very physically draining <laughs> if anything i said just makes sense <laughs> No. One piece. Done. I should have done this like, I don't know, sitting against the wall or something. I didn't think this through, okay? It's my first stream in my new hidey hole. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm still figuring it out. <laughs> Yes, I'm calling this place my hidey hole. <laughs> this is the place I'm going to be able to return to whenever I'm just done with the rest of the world. I mean, I guess most people call that their home or their house, but yeah, not nah, because I'm going to be traveling around, so I'm going to be like a nomad, but I guess I'll always have a room here Coco Mar 
Go, go, D Marco. Hey, welcome to the stream. Nothing invigorating going on here, by the way. I'm just straightening my hair. <laughs> Lots of brain vomit coming out of my mouth, though, so enjoy that. Thanks for tolerating. You okay? I'm doing a little better now. I think, um, I explained it earlier, but my body was physically going through a flare-up and I think that was affecting my mental state as well because I was just spiraling downward into n not a good place. So, yeah. But the flare-up is starting to end, so I think my brain is starting to spiral upward. I... My brain's always spiraling. It's just a matter of up or down. There's no in-between. <laughs> I'm sorry you've been down. Thank you. Me too. <laughs> but I've been working on it, so I'm, hence why I'm streaming now. This is like therapy, kind of being able to talk through what's going on up in my brain. <laughs> Okay, next piece. I'm like limpering up to do an Olympic sport right now. <laughs> I'm gonna straighten one piece of hair. <laughs> Are you disabled? Yes, I am. I have a walker. I have this uh, rare autoimmune disease called neuromyelitis optica. I say NMO for short because nobody likes saying the long term. <laughs> sorry to ask no it's cool ask away I'm totally fine with talking about it but um basically the best description of it I can give is it's close to multiple sclerosis um yeah cause it's commonly misdiagnosed as multiple sclerosis that's why it's uh like so rare but yeah that's basically it um okay <laughs> I'm trying to remember the science. Hold on. So basically, my healthy cells that attack your... This is unfortunate. O Wixen. <laughs> this is most unfortunate, my friend. <laughs> but um, basically, you know, like your cells when you get sick, the cells that attack the sick cells and like demolish them the, those cells are attacking the protective layer around my nerves that connect my like um, extremities to my brain so like the nerves that tell my brain to tell my finger hey start moving yeah those nerves are being attacked by my healthy cells and it's like a whole battle going on in my body right now and but it's like it's playing itself <laughs> if that makes sense <laughs> i'm 24 years old and i'm a gamer so i'm speaking in gamer terms and lingo okay <laughs> basically Okay, okay. You know that scene in the remake of The Chronicles of Narnia? The, the battle scene? That's what's going on in my body right now with my healthy cells and my nerves. Like, the protective layer around my nerve, My immune system. Yeah, there we go! <laughs> my immune system is attacking my nerves. My nervous system. And it's like that battle scene in the Chronicles of- the remake of The Chronicles of Narnia. Except it's like, instead of two different sides, like the light side and the dark side, it's like the light side battling the light side because they're all at a costume party and everybody is dressed up as dark side and <laughs> they're all like, wait, you're the dark side? And the dark side's like, no, 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 we're just wearing costumes, it's cool, we're all on the same side, bro. And the light side's like, no, get him! And that's what's going on. <laughs> that's that's my body. Does that make sense? <laughs> okay. 
okay then <laughs> i'm gonna straighten the next piece <laughs> you guys battle it out in the chat <laughs> may the best person win <laughs> Here we go, here's a better description. <laughs> here's a better description of what's going on in my body with NMO. Basically, my own body is too stupid to know that it's attacking itself. <laughs> Do it, dude, that just says my body. <laughs> This is taking so much longer than I wanted it to, and it's literally just because I have to hold my torso up. <laughs> I'm about ready to just say, screw it and give up. <laughs> no, no I can't. Because all I want to have to do later is the roots, I don't want to have to finish actually straightening my hair. <laughs> I win. <laughs> you know what actually sounds really good right now? Coffee. <laughs> Again, I'm not addicted to coffee. You are. <laughs> Not even just like, like I would totally go for just a regular black coffee. Nah, I wouldn't. I don't like black coffee. See, I'm not addicted to coffee. I, I'm picky about it. Like if I'm drinking black coffee, it has to be from like a mom and pop diner and it's gotta still have like coffee grounds in it. Like it's gotta be some grungy... <laughs> like dishwater coffee if I'm drinking black coffee it's got to be strong as hell it's got to still taste like it's like it's got to taste like yesterday's burnt coffee <laughs> that's the only way I'm drinking black coffee or if it was made over like a legit fireplace or like just yeah <laughs> that's the only way I'm drinking black coffee is if it sucks <laughs> I don't know why. I'm weird. It's it's a mental thing. It has nothing to do with flavor or how it tastes. It's just, it's in my head. <laughs> Otherwise, I very much like fancy coffees. That's probably the only coffee you'll see me drinking outside of a mom and pop diner or a campsite. <laughs> Guess that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just blame it on my brain. <laughs> It's because of the enema. <laughs> oh my 
And I do have my favorite Starbucks order. I think, well, okay, I have my current favorite Starbucks order. So call me basic. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> but right now it is a pistachio latte, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> are really going at it in the chat. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Rum. Hey, welcome to the sh chat, Shek Rum. This sounds like a basketball player. Who am I thinking of? He's a famous basketball player. Is he a basketball player? I don't know, I'll google it later. I'll let you know when I'm doing the roots. <laughs> Gotta go to sleep now. I peace out. I'll be back later. <laughs> Have a good night's rest or just a rest. Anyways, I was talking about something and I completely forgot what I was talking about. How is everyone? Oh yeah, Coco D. Mark said rum. You like rum? I don't think I've had, like, drinking enough rum to form an opinion about it. I've drinking plenty of whiskey to form an opinion about whiskey. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think I've drinking enough rum to form an opinion about rum or or anything else. I mean, I have formed an opinion about beer. I do not like hobby beer. No, nah, that tastes weird. But I do like dark beer, cause I mean, once you go black, you never go back. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but I mean, I am the black you never go back from. <laughs> Rex, are you okay now? Yeah, I'm doing better. Uh, it was, so I was having a flare up that was physically making my body not okay, and then I guess that was piling over into my mental state and I guess the flare-up is ending so my mental state is getting better and now I'm streaming <laughs> I <laughs> best description I can give best description you're gonna get <laughs> okay here we go I'm doing the next piece <clears throat> Let's see how long I can hold my torso up before it starts to falter. Good to hear you're okay now. Oh, thank you. Followed. Aw, I appreciate that. Yeah, like, share, follow. Subs I don't think you can subscribe. I don't have a subscribe button on my channel. But also, you have to pay to subscribe, so I would just follow. Because you get the same notifications anyway. It's literally just like, I get money. Which, I mean, I'm okay with that, so... <laughs> when I do get a subscribe button, feel free to pay me your money. I <laughs> I will sit here and entertain you for money. <laughs> Kosher entertainment, though. I don't stream anything I wouldn't show my mom. No, I'm joking. 
Krish147700. Hey, welcome. How are you doing? I'm doing better. I'm just rambling off a bunch of brain vomit right now. <laughs> My torso is getting tired from holding it up from straightening my hair so I'm taking lengthy break breaks I'm taking lengthy breaks in between doing each piece to let my torso rest because it takes a lot of energy to hold my torso up go for it ask away I'm funny. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I mean, I know it. <laughs> I know I'm funny. My mom tells me every single day. <laughs> okay, Chris, you formulate your question. I'm gonna straighten the next piece. From one ear now to other. Tell me what to do. Um, find a sugar daddy. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, man. My income comes from disability, so I, I don't know. I'm sorry about that. Don't get a sugar daddy though. I I was joking. That's not that's not a legit thing. I mean it is a legit thing. I know sugar daddies, sugar babies exist, but I have not done enough research into it to be formulating an opinion or giving advice of an, on doing that. So don't listen to me. <laughs> uh find a job that pays three fifty or more. Yes, I agree, finding a job that pays 350 or more, but if you live literally anywhere, it's going to take you at least, what, two to three weeks to get your first paycheck, so that's kind of pointless because you have to eat and you have to live somewhere and you have to be able to take care of yourself within those three weeks while you're waiting for your first paycheck. I think that's one of the dumbest things any capitalist system could have come up with. Like, I'm sorry, you expect your workforce to be able to work for you and keep up working for you, but you're not going to pay them for three weeks at least? That doesn't make sense to me. It just, I don't know, I'm of the sound mind set that you work, you should get paid every single week regardless of if it's your first week or not. Like, if you worked three days on your first week, you should get paid for those three days. Or, like, you know, let's say you start on, like, that Friday, and payday is Friday. You should get paid for working that day. Like, period. If payday is a certain day, everybody should get paid, regardless of if you just started working an hour ago <laughs> or not. You should get your pay that day on payday. You should not have to wait but I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not educated enough into this. I just have my own personal anecdotal experiences and opinions about this. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Any online work? Uh, content creation? Oh, or any, or can I ask 35 people for $10? I mean, yeah, if people are willing to give you money, ask them. 
I have my donations thing because I like tacos and fancy whiskey. If anybody wants to donate to that fund. <laughs> also, I'm probably going to be using changing the name of that fund to like my travel diaries or something. I don't know because having money while I'm traveling is probably a good idea. <laughs> But I mean, yeah, if people are, um, I know what, like, GoFundMe's, people use GoFundMe a lot when they need money. <laughs> I read a meme, what did it say? GoFundMe is, like, the number one insurance in the United States, which is, <sighs> well, that's a whole political conversation we'll, let's not get into. <laughs> okay, last piece. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, dope, last piece, done. I feel like that guy that's like, or like that girl that's like at a fancy party and she's wearing like a waist trainer or whatever, and then the second she gets home and she takes the waist trainer and like her bra off and everything and she's just like, oh. <laughs> that's me right now. Besides beauty and body art, what other categories do you stream in? <laughs> PayPal me. PayPal me too. <laughs> if you're gonna PayPal the Krish, PayPal baby T-Rex. No, wait, no, Krish, don't put your password. Take that out. <laughs> or change your password immediately. Do not give away your password to PayPal. <laughs> that's not, that's not good. Change your password. No. That is sound advice I'm giving you. That is 100% advice. Change your password now. <laughs> but, um, okay. Other categories I do. I do gaming, which when I'm... I'm probably about to go sit and relax and stream, like, Battlefield or something for a minute before I do the roots. Because I don't know if you can tell, but I need to straighten the roots, but my torso is tired. <laughs> So yeah, I do gaming, I also do workouts, uh, I like to stream my workouts, but I haven't been streaming them for the past couple months because I've been having a flare-up, and I look like a short-circuiting robot when I'm having a flare-up trying to work out, and it's, makes, it's very self-conscious inducing, so <laughs> yeah, I was not streaming that. <laughs> Um, but it's starting to come to an end, so hopefully later today I'm going to stream doing 33 squats in a row with no break because I can now and I'm excited. So we're gonna see. <laughs> It's not dumb, she just didn't, or they just didn't know. Calm down. You gotta be more understanding about this. Not everybody is as educated as everybody else. Which is fine. It's a learning process, that's what life is. <laughs> but Krish, now you know. Don't share your password or your personal information. There is, um, if you're trying to share your, like, PayPal link, I think you do, the only thing you need to share is just like your uh, name on PayPal. Like it's like a paypal.me link, I think. But yeah, if people are going to send you money or if you're trying to request money from people, then I would just give them your name on the paypal.me link, not your password. And if anybody asks for your password, don't give it to them ever for literally anything like 
if it's your League of Legends account, don't give them your password. Because <laughs> first of all, League of Legends is very important. <laughs> but also just password sharing in general, it's not a good idea generally. Unless it's like your parents or something and you trust them or, you know, but yeah. Chris, don't ever do that again. <laughs> okay, yes, we scolded them. <laughs> they've been scolded, they've been educated. Moving on. So I don't remember much from when I was a kid. A hug, baby. <laughs> Thanks. I pre I very much like hugs. <laughs> but what was I gonna say? I don't remember much from when I was little, but I do remember that, um, or even just like from the past few years, I remember that I very much was v strict about having good posture, like always sitting up straight and keeping your shoulders back and all that. I think I learned that from my mom, but now I have the most horrible posture anyone could ever have. And it's not even, it's not even cause I'm choosing to, it's just cause like I can't hold my torso up half the time. So I have to slouch <laughs> or I have to like, yeah. I don't know. It's just funny. I think I'm done with doing the gist of it. <laughs> the part that takes all the energy is done. You see? Beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a break now. Um <clears throat> probably gonna stream like battlefield or something so if you want to watch that enjoy i guess hi nice to see you back and feeling better thank you i'm feeling a little better we'll see <laughs> i started this stream like at a high point and now i'm like <laughs> Can't even hold my torso up. I'm literally crossing my arms like this on my, uh, cause I have my legs sitting, uh, crisscross style. And so I have my arms crossed on my legs like this, bracing myself to keep my torso from falling forward. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna go rest, stream something else, do something else. I'll be back to do the roots later. And then hopefully I have energy to do the 33 squats and stream it. I'm very excited about this. I've been doing 33 squats every single day for the past like three weeks. My ass is no longer flat. <laughs> I mean, it's still kind of flat, but like it's starting to form a curvature. <laughs> Anyways, okay, yeah, I'm, I need to go. I need to go rest, so. Thanks for tolerating. Thanks for watching. Dudes, dudechesses. I will... I'm literally just switching over to gaming. So. <laughs> Peace out. Thanks for tolerating. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs>